Hello everyone and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. In this video, we take a load of trucks from Kansas City to Wichita near the airport. A big thanks to SES for allowing me a preview version of the Kansas DLC that releases tomorrow on the 30th. All right, first thing, let's go ahead and uh, we need to uncouple the trailer from the truck here so our other driver can come pick up this trailer. And now we're ready to get going, so let's go ahead and push that guy in there and let's make sure that that trailer is not gonna follow us, that it's actually disconnected and it is wonderful, both sides, sweet. Let's go ahead and make a right turn here and we'll head into this spot. This is one of the newer prefabs. And I believe this is a new company, the Caliber Motors Company, we're picking these trucks up from. So it should be a good time. We have lots to talk about, of course, as we always do. And this is where we're picking up the trailer right here. So I'm going to go it's talk to them. Now. It's all over now. And uh, we'll see what's going on. Big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the America Truck Sim videos. If you want to see what I'm using, it's all linked in the description below. Loving the Direct Drive T818. And there are the cars. They kind of look like SUVs, don't they? Yes, Kansas City to Wichita. All right, so our trailer is ready for us. We need to proceed to the loading area. Let's roll our windows down. Gotta love the sounds of American Truck Simulator. And we gotta find our trailer over here. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Can't be too hard to find. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be right there. And it is indeed SUVs. Very nice. Totally not a Ford Expedition or anything, right? It doesn't look like a Ford Expedition at all. <laughs> um, where are we going right there? Yep, there it is. Yes, yeah, the new Caliber Motors, man. Pretty darn cool. I love when we get new uh, companies. Still not a huge fan of the fisheye lenses on our mirrors, but uh, we talked about that last time. Somebody's like, it's your mirror blah, 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 blah setting. It's like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the actual FOV that you can have on these mirrors. Uh, that's the problem. And that's the reason why I usually run a mod to fix it. All right, go ahead and hit the brakes. Further back. I don't think I have advanced trailer company. Oh, I do have it on, because we just got it in there. Nice. Let's go and do a tug test here. Even though we're an automatic, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we're in there, nice. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and hook everything up. First things first, let's go and couple this bad boy to our truck. Just like that. We can see that line right there. So the fifth wheel is actually locked in there. That's good to go. And there are the tail lights looking good and working as they should. So nothing wrong there. Our pre-trip is complete. We're ready to get going. Let's do it. Push in the parking brake, put this thing into gear and we are on our way. And yes, we will be driving uh, a different truck next time we'll be driving something that we can actually shift the gears on. I know some people don't like the automatic trucks, but you know, honestly, it's kind of how everything's moving in the trucking world with the fleet trucks. Some people like it. Some people don't. To me, I like all sorts of different trucks, so it doesn't hurt my feelings too much to drive one of these. Make sure to get out of there. No problem indeed. All right, we just take this down the road. And we'll make a left-hand turn. Our other driver should have picked up that trailer already. Um, I believe that that happened as it went back to Alamosa, that trailer did. Get ready to turn left. We'll keep the windows rolled down for now. Look at that. We got a train passing by on our right-hand side there. Very nice indeed. You'll notice that the graphics look a little bit better uh, this time around. I did go into my NVIDIA in-game overlay and adjust the colors and my shadows and stuff like I like it. And also did get most of the stutters removed. Now, not all of the stutters have been removed because it's still a problem within the game engine itself. Um, but the major ones that we were having last time, those have been um, completely eradicated for the most part in testing. Now. Recording, that's a total different world, and I think a lot of people forget about that. Um, you know, I basically went back, I went... Ready to turn right. All right, I'll make a right turn here. Um, I basically went back through, and I redid all of my graphics from turn my right. guide setup I did, which I'll have linked in the description below if you want to check out that video. Um, and in that guide, uh, had my NVIDIA profile inspector. Now, I went through, reinstalled the graphics driver, so I had to reset up all that stuff 
as well. So um, that should have us in a much better working order. We have to do the security check so they don't think that we're trying to steal something here. Let's start that security check. There we go. It's in progress and they should open up the gate for us once they deem that we're good to go. And that seems to be the case and we are able to proceed. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's hold these windows up here so we can talk, have a nice little chat amongst ourselves. We're still using G traffic too in the console settings. If you guys don't know how to uh, walk, like, like I did the walk around stuff with the camera, moving the camera outside of the truck um, with the free cam and also adjusting things like traffic, to, uh, time of day and stuff. Oh, somebody had a, a little accident there, didn't they? Um, that's done through the console. So if you just Google how to enable the ATS console and then there's a lot of different uh, options in there for you as well for the dev console. So that's how I'm able to do that. Um, you know, flying around, you just hit zero on the keyboard and then your numpad moves you around. Now in testing, I did a lot of testing today straight on. Um, before recording and uh, I have found that sometimes in certain spots of the map, you're not going to have any traffic without like a SIPS traffic mod or something like that. But on the highways, I had no problem. So it wasn't until I got in this industrial zone that I didn't see a lot of traffic, which may be realistic in some ways, but I think we would see some cars on the road and I'm not seeing anything yet, but we'll see how that goes. So exciting stuff, man. Yep, there's a car right there. We just spoke too soon. Um, exciting stuff. Kansas comes out tomorrow. Be sure to check it out. Um, some people were like, hey, it looks a little flat. I mean, it's Kansas. <laughs> I mean, parts of it have some hills in it, but for the majority of Kansas is flat, yes. That is the case. I think we're gonna go straight this way, yeah. So we'd see some uh, bustling traffic up there on the highway, just not where we were coming from. So maybe that they did that on purpose and they just, well, there's some cars behind us. That or maybe it's just taking a minute for the game to start spawning traffic in, who knows? Who knows what the case may be? One thing I do like is the new beep, beep, beep. So if you have your blinker on and there's a car and you're right, it'll actually beep at you if they are next to your lane. So we're gonna get over here, which is really helpful. Now, I did turn off the other setting, which was the auto um, collision avoidance thing because it's way too strong um, and I couldn't really adjust it. So uh, it was like slamming the brakes on me, doing the ding, 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 and then turning the hazards on every so often. So that wasn't any good. Keep but yeah, right. going back to what I was saying and before we- exit right. Yep. Uh, before we got to the security checkpoint is that uh, if you want to check out that video, it, it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the NVIDIA profile inspector if you have an NVIDIA card um, and you can have similar graphics to what I have here. Um, I don't know why sometimes, you know, you'll have like a Windows 10 update and it'll really screw up your settings. So I'm like not brand new to, uh, you know, graphic settings in America Truck Sim or anything like that. So I do appreciate all the kind words that I was getting people trying to help out um, whenever I like invisibly like what is going on uh, or like you know in a video it's not expected like <laughs> this game runs buttery smooth for me 95% of the time um, and if something like that's happening something major is wrong and I don't know why we were dealing with it but we were all right we have to get over for this guy I think yeah that car right there here, right there, there's the beep telling me there's a car there. That's such a neat, neat thing. Um, I know that a lot of fleet drivers don't like it in the real world because these little sounds and beeps and stuff uh, are very annoying. When you've been in it for a while, I'm gonna get back over to the right. I know that car's coming up quick, so we wanna be sure to get over before he uh, gets into our spot. Awesome. Excited to go to this part of Kansas because I have not explored any Kansas without you guys. Now, in my testing, I did the exact same run I did last time, twice. Um, same setup and everything. I saved, uh, you know, a profile and then went through and loaded it, did the same job, loaded it, did the same job, uh, testing different graphic settings. That's the unfun part about uh, producing American Truck Sim content is that you have to do things like that. Keep left. Yep, we'll stay to the left-hand side. 75 through here, all right, cool. We'll get up to speed through here. So South Topeka and Wichita, 335, that sounds about right. Let's use our engine brake to our advantage here. It gets really squirrely in this little section here. 
I only know this because, well, I've been testing <laughs> the same spot over and over again, the same areas. And it was so strange, you know, once I got my profile inspector working there and everything was at 59 hertz and everything was doing what they should be doing, scaling was it set at 100, um, everything was back to normal. Uh, I did that same run and man, I just was so happy to see that I was not getting those major uh, frame stutters we were getting in Topeka and in uh, Kansas City. So that seems to have been eradicated, but we still get the occasional stutter. It's just part of America Truck Sim, so. That's the last time we're going to talk about stutters, I promise. And if it happens, I'm just going to ignore it. We're just going to all ignore it if it starts to happen, okay? Yes. I like that. Emporia South, 335. This is what we want. We're not taking 70 today, man. We're checking out new parts of Kansas. And excited to check out Wichita as well. And you know, I got to say, with... Um, we were talking about this last time, but... Uh, on my testing, I did see some sky textures finally with a new sky box. Uh, it's not always just like a pale blue sky like this. And I was pretty impressed with it. It looks pretty darn good. I mean, if you go in and you know you do the in-game overlay settings, uh, and I'll have them in the, uh, the comments below. You can check it out there. My percentages and what I use. I only use two filters. I use brightness and contrast for like the shadows. Um, and then I use a color uh, profile as well on there. That's the only two things that I use in the in-game overlay. Kind of gets rid of that uh, cartoony kind of like orangish, greeny. Or like it, it's like it's too warm of colors. Um, and sometimes you can go too cool of the colors and it doesn't look good. But I like to like get it just right where I like it and then drop the vibrance down a little bit. Now, if you're used to playing this game without those colors. Um, it'll be a little bit different at first because you're so used to the warm tones that the game has to offer that whenever you see uh, cooler tones, it's going to be like kind of jarring sometimes, but your eyes will adjust to it. And to me, this looks a lot more in line with everything in the real world around me as far as the color profile goes. I try to blend it as much as I can. Hey, driver. Get a fire truck on the highway here too very nice i do like this setup though man i, I like this freightliner um and we're on my profile so we don't have a bunch of cool trucks <laughs> not yet man i re i don't know if you guys remember but i reset everything um to zero so we have to rebuild our entire trucking company from the ground up now when i do mod showcases anytime you see me doing a mod uh profile that's usually on my modded profile. So I have like a like a save profile that has like a bajillion dollars in it. So I don't go screwing up my profile. You know, all these, I love these truck stops, man. This is beautiful through here. I mean, as beautiful as Kansas can be. And when I say beautiful, it looks realistic. That's the, that's one of the biggest things. I'm gonna get over here for this car because I don't wanna get stuck behind this dump truck. Um, that when I say like, oh, this is beautiful, but it's like, you know, mundane Midwestern stuff. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it looks realistic. All right. Scenic area. Bizarre cattle pens coming up here on the right hand side. Now, I remember when we moved to Montana, we went through Kansas and there's a lot of feedlots. So I don't know if this is what they're talking about, but we're, yeah, we're not going to stop and have a look-see. There's a little spot right there. That's cool. Looks like that's the cattle pens over there. For the most part. That's pretty cool. There's a cattle crossing right there. It's got a little lodging spot there and some camera spots. Very nice. I will be streaming this soon enough. Um, probably on the day of release. If you guys don't check out twitch.tv slash jfabiano, I stream Monday through Friday over there in the evening time. And we're going to be doing, um, probably doing some convoy because I will not have to worry about um, running a whole lot of mods. Because I want to use this profile, and then what I'm going to do is probably just use a, um, use a engine mod, engine sound mod. That's really all that I'm going to be running um, until I put my like realistic uh, other stuff in, like uh, real companies and the car, like uh, vehicles and stuff, like Jazzy Cat stuff. I'm going to go pretty minimal on my next build, to be honest, because 
149 looks beautiful. I, I'm really happy with it. There's a Moomoo there. Look at that. Moomoo's on that side. It's like a brownish white Moomoo. Very nice. All right, I'm going to get a uh, screenshot before we get to Wichita, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. And, uh, you know, it's so strange that we still don't have a truck. Ooh, we got horses on the right-hand side. Very nice. Um, we don't have a truck yet that has, you know, the cars that go over the top of the roof. You know what I'm talking about. I forget. They have a name to them. Right. Um, exit right. But SCS should definitely make a truck that is a actual car exit carrier. Right. Welcome to Wichita, everybody. We're getting off here at exit 53. And we have a toll we have to pay here before we get too off course. And which way do they want us to go? Because we have an easy pass. I'm assuming that's what we need to do. Watching for traffic on the left. We're actually pretty good. Yeah, it looks like we can go through the turn pass straight through there. But let's do cash just for the heck of it today. We'll say hello to them and actually pay them so we can see what this is like oh no we don't talk to them at all it's just a uh, boring old machine okay so end of toll road you have to pay 21 dollars what that is a joke actual joke really 21 dollars that's that's the most i've ever paid for a toll in my life and I lived in Florida for five years. You know, we had tolls everywhere. You, d you don't remotely come close to that much money spent on a toll. So that doesn't seem right at all. Unless, you know what? That's, that's not commercial vehicles. So maybe that's a commercial vehicle thing. I'm not sure about that. All right, truck and Jeep, you're good right where you're at. Sweet. So we got 54 and 400 here. There's the highway. We're going back over across it. It was underneath us there, but it doesn't look like you can travel on that side of the road, unfortunately. But we're going this way. Left turn here today. And then down and around. This is kind of strange how they're having us do this. There's no cars coming, so we're good. Let's get on the highway here. Got the divider. Got the popo right there in the Explorer. Or FPIU. Um, actually, it's FPIU. Let's go around this way. Nice. Another thing we can talk about is, um, that's oh, just my bills going out for the day. It happens at noon every day. Um, another thing we can talk about is I get a lot of people asking me about LSPDFR and all that. Um, LSPDFR is not coming back, man. It's just not. Um, big thanks to you know, a year ago on the last world flights to two, we had a massive donation to bring it back and we, we gave it a, a good solid run, man. But it's not coming back. It's way too difficult to keep it running. Now, you may say, oh, well, so-and-so, the YouTuber does this, or they play it. That is that is insane how much time it takes them to set that stuff up. You have no idea how many game crashes they have. And through editing, you can make it look like your game runs great. You know, getting uh, different calls at a time and you having to splice all that together. But... Uh, the aggravation of keeping it all together, it's just not worth it to me anymore. And GTA 6 is right around the corner. Left. You know, we're getting a, uh, a trailer uh, release here for GTA 6 uh, early December. So anytime in the first quarter of December, first half of December, who knows what they're going to do. Um, I'm super, super stoked about it. And uh, no, I don't live under a rock. Uh, I know all of the factual information there is to know about GTA 6, including the leaks. And um, I'm not going to divulge any of it here, but uh, yeah, we're all in for a huge treat. That is for certain. And if we look at, you know, a jump from Red Dead Redemption 1 to Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, um, I think we're going to see similar from GTA 5 to GTA 6. It's going to be that good. So very, very excited for GTA 6. And um, you better believe the day we get that trailer, I'm going to get over here, buddy. Um, the day we get that trailer, uh, I will be doing a full trailer breakdown like we did back in the day on GTA 5. Remember those days? Oh, man, they dump right onto the highway here, don't they? Sorry, car. I don't think I can let you on the highway. You're just going to go anyway, aren't you? Okay, cool. Don't worry about me. That's that's realistic right there. Keep right and then exit right. 
there's also a big debate going on within American Truck Sim, uh, right. the community, uh, about the AI traffic. And some people are like, well, you know, they're brain dead. And then the others are like, well, it's realistic. Let's let's be honest here. Turn left. It needs a rework. If you think that everything here is perfectly fine, um, you're kind of off your rocker a little bit. Eisenhower National International Airport here? They have the airport modeled? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so cool, man. I know exactly where I'm at right here. Well, where they have the Antonov right there, that is, uh, so we're looking at the right side runways and the lefts are over there. That is cool, man. Did not know they had this in the game. <laughs> the airport. Right, and then exit right. Um, but yeah, you're you're kind of off your rocker if you think that this. Oh, we have to exit get over right. all the way here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're still new to these spots. Yeah, this looks just like Wichita exit Airport. That is so cool, man. Yeah, that's the cargo spot. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I know we get we get on a tangent way too Turn easily, left. but hey, shiny cool things in front of our faces, right? Um, but yeah, seriously, it's not perfect and it needs a rework. Let's stop uh, defending the AI traffic system in this game when it really needs help because they, they, they bulldoze you. They act like you're not there. And, and a lot of times you just, somebody said it best. They said, you don't, you, you have to learn how to adapt your driving with the AI traffic and it's not the AI traffic interacting with Keep you right. it's you interacting with them right. and adapting to them and that's absolutely true turn right I agree with this all right we'll turn right here and see where they want us to take these cars Up here on the right hand side this is so cool man get ready to turn right yeah we will I'll turn right. Actually, that could have been the left side runway there. I'm not sure how they have this modeled. This is turn where we're going right. right here. Oh, yeah. Look at all them Tundras, baby. Or not Tundras, but the, the new whatever Toyotas. I forget what they're called. Maybe they are the Tundras. All right. So where do they want this drop of cars? Back there? Okay. Like that way or the other way? We're find about it. to find out. We are here. Finally, we are here. All right, back here, it looks like. And, uh, oh, no. Yeah, straight to the left. See, we would have went in the left-hand side there. It would have been a lot more difficult to drop, but this is going to be pretty straightforward here today. Well, what do you all think of Kansas so far? You all in excited about it? I have been enjoying it, and... Um, I'm really looking forward to doing another road trip. Now, there is a uh, mod that was released that I will be checking out, which is a Escalade, the new Escalade. And it would be a fun time to do a road trip from point A to point B across country from Kansas to, like, California. That'd be pretty neat, I got to say. Yeah, see, these, these fisheye lenses are for the birds, man. I'm not a huge huge fan of it like at all that car's right there it's almost like they meant to do it beep that a couple times but we're fine and then we just go straight back here and we're we're golden for the most part follow it back it's hard to see those tandems you have no idea where they're at just kind of have to ballpark it for the most part so we go straight here and uh i think we're pretty good Let's hop out and uh, go ahead and uncouple the trailer. We're going to uncouple the trailer and we'll see what we got here today. Airlines are disconnected. We got a excellent 236 miles, 4 hours, 53 minutes, 35.8 gallons of fuel consumed. How about that? So if you guys use my NVIDIA profile inspector, um, like I have linked in the description below that uh, that guide there. Uh, if I go to graphics, I'll show you what I'm rocking here. We've got uh, 2560 by 1440, 59 hertz enabled vertical sync. Um, I have to have that, otherwise I get bad stutters. Um, scaling 100%, anti-aliasing disabled, SSAO disabled, uh, and then I have 200% on the reflection scale and everything else. Uh, as you see here, you can kind of mimic to get a good ballpark of what I am 
using. Now, you may be wondering why these are disabled in 100%. Well, that's all because of the NVIDIA profile inspector stuff, and that will make more sense when you see that. I'm over here checking out the uh, airport and uh, doing some plane spotting, but uh, let me know what you thought of Kansas in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.